Yo, what up, what up, man? It's Pilot Radio. We back once again for another wonderful episode. Special episode, great episode. You know, this is uh, kind of one of them strictly for the streets episode. But on top of that, we are uh, here to introduce a brand new podcast. And uh, we got some other things that we finna introduce to y'all. But uh, we keeping it home team too, you know what I'm saying? Me being a West Phoenix nigga, I didn't really get to venture onto the South. That's when I was young, except for, for church. And um, I just used to see angry crackheads everywhere. So I never got to, when I got older, I kind of shied away from it. You know, that was when I was a kid. And then um, as I got older, I started doing this podcast shit. I got to meet a dope group of niggas that go by the home team. It's uh, from Don P, Will Clay, J Waves, Marcus Wheaton, Marquise Wheaton, uh, Collabs, goddamn, uh, don't let me forget nobody, Millie, everybody. The whole squad is dope. But uh, I done done podcasts with a lot of them, so I've got to kind of put a spotlight on the South Side and show, you know, canvas that from my perspective and get to pick their brain. Today we brought one of the young pioneers in. We got uh, my dog Chi Diddy in the house, Chi Chapman. What you like to actually go by, man? Man, Chi Chapman, Jeremy Chapman, man, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Chi Diddy, you know what I'm saying? The whole nine yards. Yeah, you know well, I'm I'm thank you for coming through, man. Yes, sir, man. Appreciate you. We got to give him some applause. It's, you know, it's Appreciate time. that, baby. Appreciate that. Hey, it won't be his last though, you know what I'm saying? But uh I'm y'all gonna see me soon on his show too. But uh sure. I want y'all to know about his podcast, so we're gonna talk about that. But first, we want you to just give us your you know your life story. You can uh make it as brief or as long as you want, talk For about sure. your come up and you know, life in Phoenix from your eyes, you know, on the south side. And what part of the south side are you from too? Hey man, born and raised, man, uh 16th Street between Baseline and Southern. Uh, from the new homes, you know, they used to call them the new homes mm-hmm. from a street on Fremont. You know what I'm saying? Grew up over there. Uh, went to school on the east side, though. You know what I'm saying? Grew up on the south side. Went to Wilson Elementary on the east side from head start to eighth grade. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I got all my uh, my my Spanish people. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. grew up with a lot of Hispanics my whole my whole entire life. But then I stayed on the south side, so. You know what I mean? You got the best of both. got the best of both worlds, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, grew grew up on the south side, um, um, went to school on the east side. Then I was going to go to Camelback High School, you know what I'm Uh saying? I was hooping. Uh, I went to to the tryouts and shit like that, the summer league. And then my older brothers and my older cousins, they went to Mount Point, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to end up, I'm going to go to Mount Point. Mm -hmm. So when I went to Mount Point, it was a whole, it was a culture shock because it was, the school was like 95% white. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Coming from Hispanics, coming from the black people on the South side, and then going to Awatuki, you seeing the white people, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I got the, I got the best of everything. What you know was what that saying? change like? Bro, like, it was, it was like some, uh, not another team movie type <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? Like red cup parties. <laughs> Coors Light, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a nigga, nigga didn't know nothing about Coors Light. No shooting. Light. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, you know what I'm saying? Amber Crabby and Fitch. Yeah. American <laughs> Eagle. So it was it was a whole different, um, whole Starbucks. different. Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> Bro, it was a whole different ball game. Like, I, at Mount Point was my, I, I seen my first mansion. Wow. Like I was in a mansion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was just a whole different ball game for me, man. Yeah. And it. And and my white homies, like my good my good friends, they kind of taught me taught me a lot of game. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it, it was just it was just different, man. It was different. It was wild. And you know me being a freshman, uh, my older brother was a senior. Uh huh. So my popularity was already like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm yeah. kicking it with the big dogs, and I'm a freshman. And then uh, and then uh, like my sophomore year, I got a I got a Mustang. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you a stupid lit. Got a mustache. Nine moment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, that really didn't. Then a nigga was already dressing fresh. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that kind of gave me that that lit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nice wit. Got the, the the fashion shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Bait. Billionaires Boy Club. Ice oh, you cream. was definitely cheap. You know, idiot. like shit <laughs> like that. So that one with that, and then I ran into a lot of the the younger homies like Jay Mitch. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, J Waves, yeah. uh, you know, Tay, Keese, you know, them all yeah. my dogs, Derek, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who else, man? Uh, shit, Don P. Yeah, my nigga. Uh, yeah. Man, everybody. So we was all like rocking with each other, making moves at Mount Point, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? And to see them all venture off and touch bags and do their thing is yeah. a fucking blessing, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because we all, we all sag together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then 
everybody else is just they shining and making moves. Blow it up. Hey, niggas, just dipped in butter out there. Man, <laughs> fucking, a fucking blessing, bro. And I shout out to all them dudes, man. They moving around and they having fun. Yeah, you know what hell I'm yeah. Now, nah, that's one of the best things is their energy is so solid. Because oh, I'm real. the type, nigga, like, we could have never vibed if it wasn't. Like, my yeah. that like the energy that we reciprocate back and forth is yeah. like almost like the iron and shiker, sharpening iron type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was yeah. like, these, it was like, Meeting niggas in Phoenix that just remind you of you that you ain't think was here. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, and that's hard to come across, man. Like, them dudes got so much positivity. Mm-hmm. And we pushed each other. Will Clay. You know what I mean? Will Clay, you know, me and Will Clay was just super close in high school, yeah. man. He was a part of the, Dyn- the DY Nasty. You know, Will know what Wait, it is. Wait, what the hell is the DY? We got to know. What, what's the DY Bro, Nasty? Dynasty was like a clique. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 gotcha. yeah. You know what I mean? Dynasty was a little clique. And uh, um, my older brother then passed it down to us. And we was just super rapping it, you know what I mean? And uh having fun. Yeah. Having, you know, having fun, man. And you know, you know, that whole that whole atmosphere with the clicks. You know yeah. how the whole click shit was it started out, but we was just having fun, man. It was was your fun. Yeah. Was it like weird in your mountain point days, like when you would go back to the south and like be back in the streets with it, with it was it kind of like, oh shit, like I need to distance really get away from this shit. No, you know what it was, bro? We was having so much fun and, and making so much noise that a lot of people from the side was trying to transfer to Mountain Point. God, you know what I mean? They kind of hang out with us. And, yeah. Cause we was going, we was uh like that that Desert Vista and Mount Point yeah. rivalry. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know you had the South and Chavez. Yeah. You had the Carl Hayden and uh, Carl Hayden and, was it Maryville? Uh, uh, no, nah, that's Trevor Brown. Trevor Brown, yeah, yeah. So you had that whole like that whole mix that that St. Mary's Brophy type shit. So man, it, a lot of people were trying to come over and, and, and Mount Point said, "Keep them niggas at South." Yeah. Yeah. We, we, they was just trying to tap in with us. You know what I mean? Don't let none of them niggas. We see any of them niggas come across. No, but there. the thing about it, bro, we had Dynasty was branched off to. South Chavez yeah. Mount Point, so we had we had our people in our yeah. Different, you know what's different crazy, sections. bro? That's yeah. how I knew. Like we kind of like it's like I said, it's a weird energy. We used to call ourselves the Rock Boys, okay. Dynasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swear <laughs> to God, bro. Like I don't know. Obviously, where we got it from, but that was our shit. Like that's how we felt. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But um, all right. So more um on your high school shit. Did you play sports or anything? Like, did you run track with these niggas or you was the unathletic nigga in the clique? High school, I played basketball. I yeah. played uh, my freshman year, my sophomore year, and I kind of ended it mid-junior year. <laughs> wait, 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 well, why'd you end it? Man, it was it was a lot of politics at Mount Point. Yeah. It, it was all that pay to play. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you pay to play, saying I, was, I wasn't really with that. Yeah. I said, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna step this fashion game up a yeah. little bit more and get fly on these niggas, be popular. Yeah. And uh that was that, bro. Yeah. You know I'm saying? like, let me find out niggas just wake up junior year, like, man, I can't do this. I'm low key. This yeah. Ain't, this ain't for me. Yeah. This ain't man. for me. Yeah. I yeah. wish, but I'm not going nowhere with this. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of politics, though, pay to play type shit. And I was just like, I wasn't with that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so I was just like, man, you know, they had that little booster club shit at in high school. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Where you gotta sell this. If you, yeah. if, your, if your parents, for, first off, my parents both work full time. Mm. They don't have time to be coming to Mount Point volunteering and doing shit no. like that. So black I'm, parents don't do nah, that. Nah, FYI, we, yeah, we got. Hey, we got. They got to work. They got to work. <laughs> so it it was shit like that. But like I said, I I had it was a great experience at Mount Point. Anyways, yeah. other than that, no, nah, that's just dope. Did you foster any of those relationships? Like especially you said it was ninety five percent white. Like going forward, do you still? Talk yeah, yeah, you. yeah. I got I got good friends like um I got the Bears, I got Adam Hoffman, uh my boy Brandon, the uh the Lawsons, the Reeds. They you know all what I'm sound white. <laughs> so yeah, I, I still, you know, we still tap in, we still talk, we still yeah. check on each other, things of that nature. So yeah, I still got those. That's lovely, bro. Sure. And it's crazy, bro, because like I said, I feel such parallels with y'all niggas because I'm gonna just make this brief as possible. But so I'm from Maryville. Okay. But then I moved to I went I did my high school and I went to Westview one year, but I did my high school and then most of my middle school out in Surprise. Okay. So I grew up with like a lot of with a lot of white people too. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's like I got that best of both worlds. Yeah, like, yeah. I was the only one of the only kids from Maryville. Like you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But I got to see that and I got to, it. Kind of took me away from too much of the danger, I feel like. like yeah, I don't yeah. know what would have happened if it just stayed Maryville the whole time. Yeah, you know I feel you. 
I feel you. So, and the same thing if y'all was just forced to be in the South Side, because it's like, damn, you never get to see, because out there it was like, you see structured families, you see this, yeah, you see that. The whole so, it's like, it makes you start thinking different. You know yeah, what I mean? Oh, for so sure. Definitely for sure. a blessing in disguise. For sure. But, all right. So, um, you kind of talked about uh, getting with the home team and shit, but just expand a little bit more on like meeting each person and like your relationship with the whole squad. And then after you do that, I want you to kind of talk about where you see everybody in the future. Yeah, man. With uh, with Will, man. I'm gonna start with Will Clay, man. Will Clay, man. That, that was my little brother at Mount Point. You know what I'm saying? Will was younger than us, but he was he was he was rocking with us. You know what I mean? He was a part of the clique, and um. The dude was just so so talented, you know, track and field, uh, football quarterback. That's crazy. You know I, mean? I did not know he was a quarterback. Yeah, 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 quarterback, and he and he was dunking at an early. You know what I mean? Dunking early. You know what I mean? He had those springs, and I just seen a lot a lot of uh, talent in him. Yeah, and I knew he had that gift. I knew he was gonna push the success. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And and keep grinding, and you know what I mean? He's winning. Uh-huh. He's winning right now. So, a uh, great kid as far as music um fashion um and, and then track and field you know his profession Beast. so man I, I shout out to him man we we uh we text you know we talk here and there uh when he pull up to az we tap in so he's one of those dudes that still we still have a relationship yeah uh he came to one of my birthday parties he, like surprisingly i didn't even know he yeah. was coming he just <laughs> popped up so it'd be shit like that man you know yeah. what i mean I, I, a lot i know a lot of people that's touching bags and, and making a difference and moving around yeah. that's still we still got that relationship yeah. you know we can still tap in if i call you you're gonna pick up yep. so that's what i respect and i love about that guy. yeah they you know solid yep. Keep for, sh- for sure um tay and keys i'm gonna put them on on the on, on the good dudes real real good dudes they come from a, a family background of football mm-hmm. they both solid marquise is a man he his his energy that positivity that he bring you know what i'm saying i'm yeah. like damn this nigga's too positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's early, nigga. Yeah, but but I like that. I like yeah. that. He 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 reads books. He meditates. He pushes positivity. Mm-hmm. And I like what he got going right now. Yeah, I like what he got going right now. He uh, I wake up in the morning. I see his shit on Instagram. That positivity. People need that shit when they wake up in the morning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I like go to his page and and, and see what he got going. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I love what he's doing, man. He's a, he's a good solid dude. Uh, like I said, I can hit him up. You know what I mean? We see each other. We may not see each other in six, seven, eight months, yeah. but when we see each other, it's love. Yeah. You know what I'm nah, saying? Yeah, come back together. Yeah, yeah. Tay a good dude too, man. We had uh we had one bowling not too long ago. Me, Tay. Um, it was a whole bunch of us. Uh my, me, Tay, Waves, the homie Fred, my my kinfolk Millie. You know, Millie, my cousin. Yeah, my shout out cousin. Millie. Yeah, so we went, we went bowling and we was just debating the whole time about who had the hardest R&B album. Yeah. Who had the hardest mixtape. Who had, you know what I mean? So we all, we, 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 you know what I mean? It was good vibes. Man. Uh-huh. Tay a good dude, man. I love what he doing. I love his, his, uh, his, his business mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's a good, I, I see him moving around and, and making moves, making yes. a lot of noise. You know what I'm saying? So I, I love that. Making about, that bread. Yep. I love that about that dude, man. And, and he's, and he's humble. He's cool. I mean, you would never know. He's humble, man. Humble guy, man. I remember we went to the sandbar in Gilbert, man, one time, man. We was just, we was just vibing, mm-hmm. talking, we catching up, we telling South Side stories and we just, you know, having a good, yeah. mo- having a good motherfucking time. Yeah. It, it was great. Uh, let me see, man. My my boy Waves. You know what I mean? Me and Waves go way one back. One of the best rappers. Way back, man. That's that's my guy, bro. That's uh, we would be working out like man. That's my workout guy. Yeah. We used to go to the gym all the time. He come to the crib. You know, I'm, I, I got some tacos. I'm I'm making some Taco yeah. Tuesday. We we vibing, man. That's that's my little bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. He said you was big, bro. When yeah. I, when we was in uh, yeah. L.A. Yeah. yeah. I don't call a lot of people my little bro, man. But that dude right there, man, he's solid. Yeah. He's solid, man. We've uh, his first music video. I, I I was rapping. I was fucking around one time. <laughs> we did a song called Back to the Block, produced by Man Ingredient. Mitch cooked it up. He engineered for us. Um, that was our first time, like first music video. That was yeah. his first music video. My first music vi- video. We had Big T. We had the homie Twan, um, and his just his energy, man. Just him wanted to be involved. Yeah, you know, I hit him up for the. I'm like, bro, I need you to get on this record. It wasn't no hesitation. He was like, man, how much you paying me? Yeah, Cause you get them type of niggas, and, and and I don't mind, and I don't mind that. You know what I'm saying? So, 
good dude, man. Good energy. Um, I love that dude, man. That's my little bro. I love that Shine dude. Moment. That's my dude too. He, yeah, he's yeah. outside of me, like liking him as a person and being like, that's my homie. Like that motherfucker is supremely talented. Yeah, like, he yeah. is. He's, I'm he's nice with it. Glad he left this motherfucker. Yeah, man. Yeah. I say, hey, get out. Go get that bag. Make a difference. You know what yeah, I'm saying? He's so, going to. He's that level. Like yeah. he remind me almost like a. And I don't say this lightly, like, because I know Jay-Z obviously has went to high, high levels, but, like, yeah. I feel like at his age, it's, like, the same place, like, a young Jay-Z probably was. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I think. <clears throat> humble Look. dude. Real humble, man. And uh, I can call him right now. He'll pick up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He ain't never kind of, like, shy me away. Yeah. Um, but that's 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 my guy. Yeah. Hell that's yeah, my man. guy, man. Uh, let me, I, Jay Mitch. Jay Mitch, man. Jay Mitch, man. So, Jay Mitch rem- reminded... Reminded me of me yeah. when he came to Mount Point because Mitch had the Hummer when he yeah. came. I remember he threw like a big ass Sweet Sixteen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying at the point, um, in, in uh, Tempe, and uh, it was just like Sweet Sixteen. Yeah, like the, nigga the was, real shit. Yeah. yeah, he was moving around. We had a good time, man, and he was always been a a solid young dude. I try yep. to get him underneath my wing. You know what I'm saying? Because he was, like I said, he was a freshman. He was hanging out with us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he's always been about that music shit. And he's, I, I just, I just seen just the, the high levels Yeah. within him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's, a, he's a good dude. I love what he's doing now. Um, when he, uh, when he come in town, we'll tap in. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it ain't no Hollywood shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he never gave. Wow. And I don't even, I didn't even know the nigga before he blew up. I mean, yeah. he still never gave me them vibes. Yeah. A good dude, man. And, uh, I think we would always have that, uh, that bond. You know what I mean? Cause I, I looked out for him at Mount Point, made mm-hmm. sure he was good. You know what I'm saying? And made sure like, you know, with the, we were, you know, older. So I, I made sure nobody fuck with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At Mount Point. Cause I was running shit up there, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So he was all he always been solid, man. Yeah. And if he if he hit me, you know, I mean, he hit me up, I'm there. If I hit him, he there. So yeah. it's love. I love what you're doing, my young guy, man. Keep pushing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Superstars, man. Yes, That's dope as fuck, dog. Let me uh let me jump into Don P, man. Yeah, Don the P. Young hustler. Don P, man. Your energy is this nigga energy is fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? He one of them niggas that's gonna bring everybody out. Mm-hmm. Bring everybody together. Yeah, they got a show. He the nigga turning up with his shirt off. Yeah, fact. You feel me? Jumping. Like yeah. the nigga, man. Like the nigga got his. He got his shirt off, or they got a something. Yeah, like he a sex symbol. Yeah, or yeah. So he's a good guy. I love his energy, man. And uh, I rock with the nigga. He from the forties. I, you know, I got, I got, I get a lot of love over there on the forties. Yeah. So uh, good dude, man. Keep that energy. I know he dropping some shit. I know Wade's about to drop some shit. Mitch about to drop some yeah. shit, so I'm looking forward to all that. Yeah, sound Real. like a lot of release parties. Real shit. Yeah. Real shit. <laughs> Let's yeah. get it cracking. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, so um, I want to know about your podcast and um, what's you going to bring? What's the goals? And like, is it going to be an interview style or more are you just talking shit? Like, I want you to tell the people all about your show and what to look out for. Uh, man, Nothing Off Limits podcast, man. I just started that uh, February 10th. You know what I'm saying? Um uncut uncensored you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i want people to come on to the show be they self you know what i'm saying get in your zone yeah you know what i mean get in your zone have fun i'm gonna talk my shit i want you to talk your shit yeah uh i'm on my windy shit i'm trying i'm looking for the tea yeah tea with cheap yeah <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to dig in and, and figure out what's going on with you what's on your mind this uh talk your shit yeah talk your shit you know if i ask you about a local person's album or cd or fashion line be truthful yeah don't sugarcoat the shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just looking for that, man. You're gonna have some fun with me. Get for it. That's what I'm saying. We go, we we gonna we gonna dive in and we're gonna talk our shit. Yeah. We're gonna because like I, at the end of the day, I I signed up for this shit. So if I got something to say, I'm gonna say it. Yeah. Um, even if you feel a certain way about it, pull on up. That, hey, <laughs> and, and that's all it is. You feel yeah. me? And that's all I, and I feel like I'm just so tapped in. Uh just to the city, uh, just from what I've done for the city, yeah, for the South Side, you know what I'm saying. Put a lot of people in certain positions. Um, just made moves for years. I, I'm uh, I'm 30 now, yeah. So I would say I, I 15 years in the in the, in the game. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. I would say that I started when I was 15, and I've been making moves ever since. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I got a lot of relationships with a lot of like real South Side. 
yeah. niggas. You know what I'm saying? And and other than niggas from the South Side, uh-huh. I kind of tapped in and, and and made a name for myself. So a lot of people, they respect me. Yeah. They respect what I say. They respect what I do. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? I feel like I can, I can talk my shit without these niggas being offended. Yeah. But if they get offended, then it's whatever, man. What's, yeah, what's happening? And most niggas ain't yeah. out here definitely don't ain't. <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> man, you ain't bring your boy no shirt. What's happening? Man, I got some shit in the car. Oh, my nigga, car I was gonna you, say all the other rest of these niggas yeah. brought you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got you, bro. I'm fucking with you. But now, on a serious note, though, you do have a presence for sure mm-hmm. because it's almost like how I was saying, um, like with Mitch, like how he fucked with me before I even really knew him. Like that's how I felt like with you. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. That's why I was like, I got to have this nigga up here. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Like right. I've been watching this shit since yeah. then. And I can just tell, like, just the type of respect that they got for you and the type of respect I got for them. I was like, well, shit, I'm trying to pick this brain, too. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Love, and That's even love. before then, the first shit I knew was the Chi Diddy. And that shit is funny. Yeah. It was funny, bro. And even, like, the way you made that voice, I don't know if you put some effects on it, but, nigga, that shit was all, like, hilarious. Like, you was, that shit was, like, the talk show, the radio appreciate host. It. Like, that shit was funny. It's your boy, T. I forgot how you was doing yeah. that shit. was funny. I appreciate fuck, it, fam. But, it's um, love, man. It's love. So man. keep doing your thing. But uh, so now, bro, I want you to talk about anything else you might be into, any business ventures before we wrap, anything like that. And then after that, we'll shout outs. Yeah, man, what I'm going to do, man, I'm going to uh, keep pushing this Make South Phoenix Red again. So I'm trying to get. Oh, I need one of them joints. Yeah. I'm trying to get the South Side back to what it used to be, man. When we had niggas like Freeze TV pushing the movement, you know, the judge, the bosses, the seat thugs. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Um, the Mikey 360s, the uh, the Young Wax. You feel me? The, yeah. the Mac. You know what I mean? We we had a we had a motherfucking movement out there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it feels like it ain't it ain't the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get that movement uh, pushing. Uh, I, I I got some other um, like Phoenix color uh, caps mm-hmm. coming out, like the Suns, like the purple yeah. and the orange, the orange and purple, the Cardinals, the Diamondback shit. So I got I got them coming in different color schemes. I got the T-shirts releasing. Yeah. Uh, with the Make South Phoenix great again. I got the the shorts because mm-hmm. the summertime coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so I'm trying to get that right. You're going all the way merch. Probably. Yeah. So I'm trying to get that trying to get that mm-hmm. moving. Um, I got the. Uh, the, of course, the Nothing Off Limits merch. I got some polos coming, mm-hmm. some more dad hats, some shit like that. So I'm trying to push that. Um, man, I'm just trying to get back on my shit, man. Um, like I said, man, 15, 15 years in the game um, from 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 fashion. That's how kind of how, I mean, party promotion, fashion, um, movies. You know, I had two big uh, movies in, in, in the theaters. Shine at a, moment. At, at a young age, 18. My first one was my documentary at 18, IMAX Theater. And then uh, Humble Clothing. Um, yeah. I, I co-produced his his movie. Um, we we moment, had it man. at the uh, um, the theater. Let's um, make the, movies the, then, bro. What's the happening? Polak, the Polak, you know, Polak Theater. Um, man, I'm just, I'm, I'm moving around, man. I do mixtape hosting. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? If you need your, if you need your mixtape, Sounding on some, you know, what I mean, I do a little bit of everything, yeah. bro. I'm a t-shirt printing. I got a little shop that I work at part time. Yeah. So, man, I, I'm I'm in it, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm making work, moves and, and trying to get shit, trying to get shit rolling, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Between me, you, and Don P, we should be making movies, nigga, every week. Damn, Let's man. get it, man. Bro, that's easy. Like that's the only thing I be feeling like be missing is a consistent team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the hard part. Yeah, but I live all the way out west, but I'll always make that jug. You know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But for um, sure. all right, so man, tell the people where to follow you. Anything else you want to say, and we gonna get uh, the hell on up out of here. Hey, uh. Like I said, uh, uh, NOL podcast on Instagram, uh, Chi Chapman on Instagram, um, and my website, www.nolpodcast.shop. So y'all go ahead and tap into that. And, uh, man, Southside niggas, man, let's get back together. Let's make this shit, let's make this shit happen. You know, shout out to all my niggas, uh, my brother, Mikey 360, little brother, Tyrese Green, uh, my boy Rob in the building, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the heck, heck home, Gordo home, uh, J Rock was happening, uh, Q Dizzle was good, the whole home team. Uh, man, we winning. Hey, we winning right now, man. So that's yeah, that, that's baby. Great. And we're gonna sign off like that, man. Chi Diddy, Southside's finest. You already know what time it is. I am the Southside. Yeah. Don't get it fucked up. <laughs> Let's get it, nigga. Hey, man, it's Pod Sun Radio. You know what time it is. Episode 121. Thank y'all for continuing to fuck with us. And you know, the home team gonna be in here until this shit is a wrap. And I mean, until I'm all the way gone. So let's keep it cracking. We can't wait to have you back, man. Shine moment. Thank you.
Tell me you 